hoops. There you guys go. Enjoy. Darn! <laughs> you have everything to figure out. Have a good time. I'm not to Yes, Very good. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> А у меня только одна из них. И одна вот такая. Got her sand on my head. <laughs> my bag. What does that mean? My bag. I also bring up this Batman again. Mm. Who is this creature? Batman, how did that? These two are going to need to be reminded of their place in this world. Very well, set them forward. I might not. You may enter, sir. Forward, kneel. May your deferences to my Baroness and I. To move to this land of freedom. They lived here one year, but their English is very tiny. Indeed. Then I assume you can translate for them. All right, no. They? Did you come forward? Now hast visited all three baronies and received all three ribbons. Return to us, and we shall have thee knighted. Indeed. I think he likes to scream at us. Probably he means no harm. He's really very short on charm. Oh, you have a great gift for rhyme. Yes, some of the time. Enough of that! Step right up and test yourselves in a game of skill, be it axe or spear throwing. Three dollars for free throw. Game of Thrones, if you will. Axes are for all, the spears are for all. Aaron, you're bad. You're thinking like a bow and arrow. Like a bow. Can that be tied? Nay, for the correct field draw, for didst red strike two. Ladies and gentlemen, we show mercy. 
Red strike two, yay or nay? Nay! 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 Yes! Huzzah! Did you see red strike one? Aye! Did you see blue strike one? Aye! Did you see green strike one? Aye! Shall we have a redo? Aye! The axes are broken at this time. <laughs> or the Mahan beast decided to chew on the metal. One more! One, one more! One more throw! <laughs> Now are you here to see the circus of the damned or to get questing for our, with our parents? Is that what it's like? Or both? Making the circus of the Oh, Alice, we can go there. 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 Grace is ready to receive. My Lord Prince will see you. of greatness. For I am none other than Ali Akbar Muhammad El Mutamin the Magnificent, and you have my leave to adore me. <laughs> Of the show I love. Oh, people are like, ah! ah! 
Chocolate's flying in my face! <laughs> love to watch children scramble in the dirt. I just love it. I have traveled through all of the lands where the obedient of Allah dwell. I have brought with me my God called the Pillars of Islam. I have brought with me my beauteous Haram. You have my leave to Haba Haba. <laughs> All right, excellent. What a wonderful beginning. What a wonderful beginning. All right, what will we try next? Oh, oh, on the count of three, I want everyone to shout, Oh my God, it's better than Hamilton. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three! Oh my God, he's better than Hamilton! <laughs> People looking over the fence, I spent 500 bucks for Hamilton. <laughs> All right, um, uh, oh, on the count of three, everyone yell, close your eyes, they're naked! <laughs> One, two, three! Close your eyes, they're naked! And here comes the guy from Homer. <laughs> I love naked people. <laughs> All right, um, one more, one more. Uh, on the count of three, everyone yell, free beer. <laughs> one, two, three. Free beer! And if that doesn't bring them in, they're not the crowd I want. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, and no small amount of shame, we bring to you Akbar and Amid. Amid and Akbar's Circus of the Dam. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, to start out, who wants to see something dangerous? Yes! Too bad. Aww. Instead, I am going to present to you the safest form of juggling imaginable. I have in this bag authentic, genuine Renaissance privy seat protectors. <laughs> Blue court circus, keeping it classy for over 30 years. <laughs> now, traditionally, these only have two uses. Number one, and number two. <laughs> Parents, ask your kids to explain that to you later. I guarantee they got it. All right, here we go. I chose a windy day. Perfect. Yes. Woo! Not quite as disturbing as you thought it would be, is it? <laughs> this is a slightly better reaction than the first time I tried this. The lady in the stall next to me was not amused. Very well, so it's a lovely parting gift for you. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right, enough of that. Traditional forms of juggling. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the authentic Renaissance juggling bean bag. Now, how many would you like to see me juggle? Three, perfect. <laughs> two, did I hear two? Very well, we'll start with two and move to three. This is two and three. <laughs> Generally, I have a few seconds before the audience figures this out. <laughs> There's always one person. He's blowing my mind! <laughs> look, sir, 3D. Oh, no. It's better than Hamilton! Very well, now. I'd like to show you a trick that I invented right after I saw someone else do it. <laughs> Very well. Now, would you like to see a really difficult oh trick? Yeah. yeah. Good. This is a really difficult trick. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, fabulous, not so fabulous. Thank you. Very well. Yeah. To make things more interesting, let us replace one bean bag with something else. Will the lovely Zsa please bring me my next item to the stage? Thank you, my dear. Zsa, ladies and gentlemen, is Nice she... front, Malik. I think she likes me. <laughs> the authentic Renaissance apple. But you're asking yourselves, is it a real apple? Well, let's test it. 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, 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 Zha -Zha! Not on your life, Malik! <laughs> Who can guess what's about to happen? Very good! Front row, eating the apple while juggling. That would be, um, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, oh wait, another souvenir for you. Oh. <laughs> now we spoke earlier of something dangerous, and you've been a fairly good crowd so far. So, Jaza, please bring me the next item for juggling. Thank you, my dear. Georgia, I was wondering. Absolutely oh. not. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, authentic Renaissance juggling knives. Now, we must be very careful juggling these because they are so sharp. I said they are so sharp. How sharp are they? Sharper than this crowd, for one. <laughs> there are two ways to juggle knives. The safe way and the dangerous way. Which would you like to see? I'll leave it Dang up to you. Dangerous. Did I hear dangerous? Yeah. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you really sure? Yes. Okay, dangerous way. Here we go. <laughs> Stay right there. You're not going to mind this one. Should we maybe do it the safe way? <laughs> I thought so. Just this one. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if at any time one of these knives should fly off of the stage into the crowd and embed itself in your torso, I'm sorry. <laughs> and hoopa! Thankly, thankly. Just so we're clear, there will be no neck catch. <laughs> now, and thank you for not yelling faster, faster. I get enough of that at home. <laughs> now, there is only one trick I have that I can do with knives, and it is not something we recommend for potential young fathers. Watch closely. Ah! <laughs> if I did that one wrong, I could wind up a tenner <laughs> instead of a twelver. <laughs> Take your time. Think about it. Explain to your neighbor. Now back to me. My eyes are up here. Kids, feel free to ask your parents to explain that to you later on. And if your child got that, it's not my fault. Now, no matter what happens, I'm going to consider this a success because I've just proven that I can juggle knives longer than this audience can applaud. Uh, thank you, thank you. Wait, wait, ladies and gentlemen, a riddle, a riddle. How do you kill a circus? How? Aim for the juggler. Oh. Oh. Yes. Think about what you just said. Are you ashamed of what you just said? Not really, no. <laughs> Go to the bandstand and don't come back till you can quit punning. Oh. 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 Two thirds of pun is PU. You found my cheese. Weapons master to the circus! <laughs> of the dead. And now, Tia, we would like you to step over this way. Jaja will place you in front of the target. Thank <laughs> you. 
bar. If you would please place this between your teeth. Probably two days. I see how this turns out, and this is not a good thing. <laughs> now you understand why we didn't want a male volunteer. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, I don't know. This time, no blindfold. <laughs> no, I can't watch. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> I haven't seen anything that awful since I was a peeping Tom at the Green Court. Well, friends, all good things come to an end, and lucky for you, so does this circus. Allow me to present one final attraction, a story, if you will. It features two sisters. One was lovely, winsome, kind, gentle, generous spirited. And sitting right here. Oh, no. She said you are just looking at her. Isn't she marvelous? The beautiful sister for the day. Now, her sister was just the opposite. She was selfish, mean-spirited, hard-hearted, and let's face it, somewhat less lovely. Yeah, she's right. ah! <laughs> hey! Boy, we're not kidding when we say less lovely. <laughs> <laughs> the two sisters live together at home <laughs> with their aged mother and father and both desperately wish to be married. But <laughs> not to each other, this ain't Game of Thrones. <laughs> but they lacked the dowry, their parents being so poor, until one day they heard the news of a magic wishing well somewhere deep in the heart of the forest that would grant three wishes. Extra, extra. Wishing well found somewhere in the forest that will grant three wishes. Extra, you read all about it right here. They were so excited they jumped for joy. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a lot of joy, but it was jumping. <laughs> they resolved that the very next day they would travel to the heart of the forest and make their wishes. Without thought of preparation, the selfish sister went to bed early, where she snored loudly. In the meantime, the generous sister prepared for the voyage. By staying up late, she filled a sack with wine. And made for herself a delicious cake for the journey. <laughs> and then, exhausted from her labors, she went to bed where she didn't snore at all. <laughs> In the morning, the wicked sister awoke, stretched and scratched, <laughs> and discovering the preparations of her lovely sister, stole the sack of wine and the cake and went to the heart of the forest on her own. She traveled down those stairs, in front of the stage. Up those stairs, until in the heart of the forest, she encountered in the trail a mighty dragon. Oh, and he was very, very mighty. He was, my just look at the look size at the, of him. Look at the might. Isn't that wow, a mighty what dragon? A dragon? Right this way, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> oh, 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 Go 
got to be careful. You wouldn't believe the bad luck I've had with monsters in this show. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your dragon for the day. Yeah. Now, the dragon was indeed powerful, but he was languishing for want of food and beverage, and so he had fallen down to the forest floor. <laughs> right over there. <laughs> When he encountered, when he encountered the wicked sister, he begged her for something to drink. Oh, please, sister, please. <laughs> wow, that's good begging. <laughs> but the hard-hearted sister would not listen to even such piteous begging, and instead she drank all of that wine in front of the eyes of the thirsty dragon. And so the dragon then begged for a morsel of her cake. I would love some cake. Oh, but a hard-hearted wench refused the dragon and ate the cake in front of his hungry eyes. Before continuing on her way. <laughs> Finally, she reached the heart of the forest and the magic wishing well. Yeah. Once there, around a mouth of half food cupcake, of half chewed cupcake, she wished for the most fabulous dowry in the world. I wish for the most fabulous dowry in the world. <laughs> At which point a bag of gold appeared. <laughs> Next, she wished for an elegant coach with four matching horses to convey her to her wedding. I wish for an elegant coach and four matching horses. At which time, a larger bag of gold appeared. <laughs> And finally, she wished for the most fabulous jewels in all the world to wear to her wedding. I wish for the most fabulous jewels to wear in all the world to wear to my wedding. <laughs> At which point, an enormous bag of gold appeared. <laughs> so large, in fact, that she could scarcely carry it. Without thinking, the maiden said, I wish I had someone to carry this for me. I wish I had someone to carry this for me. Which, of course, was the fourth wish, and as we know, is strictly forbidden. At that moment, an all-powerful genie appeared and whisked the gold away. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving the maiden penniless and heartbroken as she wept her despair. <laughs> Meanwhile, back home, the kind sister awoke. She stretched prettily and was dismayed to find that her preparations from the night before were missing. So in great haste, she gathered a small amount of water and a seed cake, the last food left in their cupboard. And she started on her way down the steps in front of the stage, up the steps again, where she encountered the dragon in the trail, who had managed to crawl a few feet to this side of the stage. <laughs> Before falling down on his front. <laughs> Now both sides are dirty. <laughs> when he encountered the kindly maiden, he asked for some of her provisions, and she generously shared her water <laughs> and her cake. Yeah, you don't have to eat it. Nobody likes rice cakes. <laughs>
But you chug that water, it's a hot day. <laughs> Thus provided for, he had the strength again to rise up, spread his wings, and fly away all the way around the stage until he reached that bench where he patiently waited for his next entrance. <laughs> journey until she too reached the wishing well. Being a modest young lady, she wished for a humble dowry, at which point a small bag of gold appeared. She wishes for a humble dowry. <laughs> Next, thinking only of her aged parents and being concerned that in their advanced years they should not have to walk to her wedding, she wished for a simple cart and a horse to convey them. At which point, a larger bag of gold appeared. Finally, again thinking of her parents and knowing they would be alone when she was married and gone, she wished for them enough money to live in the comfort they deserved to the end of their days. That's a lot, Abby. <laughs> it is a lot. Stand by, you're gonna you're gonna like this. At which point an enormous bag of gold. <laughs> she valiantly attempted to carry them home on her own. But who should arrive at that very moment? But her friend the dragon who in gratitude for her kindness to him earlier that day, carried all of the gold for her, and they went back on their way down that steps. <laughs> Returning the way they had come, in front of the stage. <laughs> Up these steps, until they reached home sweet home again. Sweet home. Once there, the prince revealed himself not to be a dragon, but indeed a magical prince. When you are finished. Yes! <laughs> you see, the prince had enchanted itself to appear as a dragon in order to test all of the women of the realm and find the one most worthy, not only of his love, but his fabulous wealth. The selfish sister had failed miserably, but the charming sister had passed magnificently. And so, in all fairy tales of this nature, the two were wed. <laughs> And went straightway to their honeymoon, which ain't none of my business and ain't none of your business. <laughs> after which time they lived happily ever after. <laughs> the wicked sister. She became morbidly obese and developed cirrhosis of the liver due to unhealthy levels of alcohol and junk food. <laughs> but let's meet her notwithstanding. In the role of our evil, wicked, selfish sister today, we have three-time Tony Award winner, James! James! <laughs> Check out our marketplace across the way. It's bizarre! <laughs> for all the young lords and ladies, please stay behind for a moment. I do have yeah, I, I some 
of the gold of the dragon to share with you for enduring so horrible a show. The rest of you, farewell, and remember as you go that it's people like you that make people like us. Like people like you. Salam alaikum. Собираем кучу денег. Да исторически. Quick pass. What are you talking 
this